Hi, everybody. This is a, a perfect size group, I think, honestly, and so we can sit together closely, but not too squished in, so we've got lots of time for all this creativity to, to you know, kind of mush around the room. So uh, thanks for coming tonight. It wasn't the most pleasant night in the world to be uh, traveling, but it is the West Coast and it is spring, so we, we do what we must. Yeah, so it's great to see you here, and I'm just checking in to see if everybody has got a handout and, uh, and one of my little cards, my business cards. Great. So uh, my website is on the card if you ever want to take a peek and to see the scope of my work. And there's some good resources on there as well, especially about um, uh, writing craft and also about the editing process and uh, the publishing world. So uh, if you wanted to take a little little stroll through my website, I think there'll be some interesting stuff for you there. And so uh, this evening, uh, the, there was a little bit of confusion. Uh, they had, the powers that be had uh, inserted the wrong title uh, to this workshop, so they they said it was a query workshop, a query letter writing workshop, but it is actually about writing story and and building story. So, is everybody here prepared to talk about building story? Yeah, because I do teach lots of workshops about creating query letters as well, so we can do that. Another time. Yeah, not your favorite topic. I can see that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, exactly. So um, this is all about building story. And in tonight, because we've got a variety of people and it's not specifically what genre of story, meaning is it going to be a fiction short story? Is it going to be nonfiction? Is it going to be a piece of essay, piece of essay or journalism? We're going to try and make it as generic as possible and as specific as possible, which is quite a, a, a masterly feat in less than two hours. But we'll do um, with it the best we can. So um, I do wanted to let you know that I have experience in writing and, and also published a variety of short stories, um, whether they were journalistic. Um, I worked for a, as a journalist and, and had a lot of articles in print. And even though it seems like there might be a lot of difference in between, say, a non-fiction short story, a fiction short story, and the boundaries between these types of pieces are growing narrower all the time. So if, even if you think about journalism, and by journalism, I mean pieces where the author is not present, meaning that you're not part of the story, it's not about you, it's about something outside of you, you are not present in on the page, um, the expectations of the readers today is quite different than it was, say, even 50 years ago. If you were even in the journalism world, um, in writing articles, and how many people here have written articles for magazines or newspapers or newsletters or anything like that, little nonfiction informational pieces? Yeah? I did only in my I haven't used it since AV. Well, it's pretty much gone. I'll tell you, it, it never goes away. It's just like riding a bicycle. And that stuff really, um, really prepares you well. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's taken any kind of um, article writing or journalism kind of courses, um, the, my first, come on in, my first editor at a, a regional newspaper, um, she, she said to me once that uh, journalism is the writing world's boot camp. Yeah, and so anybody who's had the opportunity to do that, especially over a period of time and doing a number of pieces, you learn some very, very important skills. And we'll talk about that in a minute. And those skills will serve you well no matter what kind of writing you do. There's sort of that real fundamental kind of ABCs of writing. So um, uh, she was very correct, I think, um, in, in the boot camp kind of uh, analogy that she, she gave me. And so I remember saying that if you can write articles, you can write anything. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So just to kind of um, give you a bit of a perspective, um, they say that, and who, who knows who they are, but they say that about 80% of all the published words in the world, the whole world, in every possible way, 80% of them are nonfiction. Surprising? No? Yeah? Yeah? A little bit? Okay. 
Um, so if you are looking to, to expand your publication portfolio, build up your creds or your writing platform as it's called in the writing and publishing world, that's a heck of a good way to do it. So how many people here are wanting to write for publication of some kind? Any kind of publication where other people are going to read it. <coughs> yep. And not just because they've snuck it out of your backpack. <laughs> yeah. So everybody here pretty much? Yeah? Good. Okay. Because I just wanted to make sure that people um, are kind of all on that, oh, here we go, They're on the same page as far as wanting to um, be published in some form. So at this point, the discussion is in some form. Okay. So if you're looking to do that, and you're looking to, I say, build credentials, build your portfolio, build your um, platform as a writer. Uh, writing nonfiction is a great way of doing that. Because with the 80%, that kind of tells you what your chances are of getting something published. So how many people are kind of there? You're sort of what they call like a newly emerging writer. And you're looking to get material published. Anybody? Yeah, good. Yeah, OK, good. So, just as an aside, writing short pieces, short stories of various kinds, and we'll talk about the different kinds of short stories in a minute, is a really good way of doing that, is uh, writing in nonfiction. So first of all, um, how many people right now are, we'll just go around really quickly, and tell me the kinds of things you are writing in terms of short pieces, and, uh, and or things that you would like to Sonia, what kinds of things are you writing or would like to write? I am mainly writing po poetry, okay. and I would love to do a whole novel one day. Yeah. Okay, so you're looking to mostly write a novel in the future? Yeah. Okay. Right now it's just brief and short with poetry. Okay, yeah. and so poetry is your short form of writing? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. And what about you? Poetry. Yeah. Uh, I'm just beginning. I've just written. Uh, um, I'm a fiction. I'm, I'm not a non-fiction. I'm a fiction. Okay. Um, I'm just just wrote a, a trilogy, and I'm starting on one. Are you talking about book length? Yeah. 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 And, uh, like a novella. Okay. Length. With novellas. And, uh, I mean, now tell us what a novella is in terms it's of It's a collection of short stories under, I think it's not, what, under 10,000 words or 15,000 words, something like that. A novella is usually up to about 40. Oh, is that much? Yeah. Oh, because yeah, mine yeah, yeah. mine's about 15,000. Would it be valuable for people to know kind of some word count? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can do that in a second. And I'm working on a sci-fi, which I hope will become a novel at some point. Okay, okay. 